me for one less day. What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. We have got an all new update for Samsung's Reminder application which brings in a couple of new features. If you use Reminder more often on your Samsung device, then you should know these two changes which adds new features. So without wasting any time, let's dive right into it. As you can see, I have received this update on May 2nd. The version number is 12.3.05.8000. This is the latest version we have got on One UI 4.1. Now let's go to the change log here. As you can see, it says possible to sort reminder lists manually, possible to move reminders to another category in the reminder list. Now let me just break it down for you guys. I got the S22 Ultra on the right hand side, which is on the latest version of the reminder app. On the left hand side, we have the Note 20 Ultra, which is running on the previous version of Reminder application. Now let me open the app on both these devices. I have got similar reminders here, as you can see, on both the phones. Now the first feature I would like to show you is moving reminders to another category. Let me just press and hold on one of the reminders here on both the devices. As you can see at the bottom, on the new version, we have got an all new option called Move with an arrow mark. On the previous version, we have complete, important and delete. In the new version, we have all these three along with an all new option, move. When I tap on move, I will be able to move that particular reminder to another category which I have already created. While that particular reminder remains in this main list, we can also go to the menu and tap on the category to see that reminder here as well. That is the first one. Now let me show you the second feature we have. This was of course a bit tricky to understand. Uh, somehow I was able to figure this out. So let's go ahead. Let me tap on hamburger menu on both the phones and let me tap on one of the categories here. I'll tap on this category purple. We have two reminders here in this list. Now inside this category, I will tap on this three dots or this kebab menu. I'll tap on sort by on both these devices. As you can see on the new version, instead of category, we have got something called custom. The fifth option you see here, we have got category in the previous version. Now we have custom on the new version. I will tap on custom here and I'll tap on done. Now I will just press and hold on one of the reminders here. As you can see, we have got these upwards and downwards arrow here, which means I can press and hold on this particular arrow and move it upwards or downwards. This is about sorting the reminder list manually. That's what is mentioned in the change log. We will be able to manually move these reminders upwards or downwards depending on your preferences. Whereas in the previous version, I can only tap on category and tap on done. I don't get these arrows to move it manually. So that is the second feature we have got with this all new update for the Samsung reminder application. These two are cool feature additions. If you're into this reminder application on a regular basis, you will be using this customization feature more often. That's about it. I hope you are a subscriber already on the channel. If you are not, be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you find it useful. That's all I want to share with you guys. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.